Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I got out the play stuff, or I've been going through my makeup to sort of try to figure out what I have for Halloween and what I don't have for Halloween. So that's how you got the look today. So um, I did go ahead and start off with, um, I actually went to Walmart and bought this blue cream makeup. I mean, it's a dollar fourteen. It'll be great for the kids. If you want to use it yourself, put it on top of very dry skin. Don't have any moisturizer on, um, but it's you know a product for a dollar fourteen, so it's not that great. Um, so, but it doesn't stain. See, no staining, which is nice. It can, and it washed off really easy, so you can wash it off the kids really easy. And then I did go ahead and use uh, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I think mine's in light, so that's what I have on there. Um, I did dig out my Juvia's Place Black Lipstick, and um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. It's, uh, I got it in a mystery box last year, so it was, um, and I haven't really used it since then. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I went ahead and topped it with the Wet n Wild, and this is, I think this is their uh, Gloss and Leo. And then what you can go ahead and do on top of that, and this is a quad of ColourPop uh, glitters, and I'm sure that Walmart has a ton of glittery products. In fact, I saw a whole bunch of over in their Halloween area. Um, but I did go ahead and use the white one. And then kind of dab it on there to go ahead and get a really glittery effect. And it might be fun to wear something like this. I mean, the whole month of Halloween gets shortened into four hours on what the 31st of October. So I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and have some looks that actually, since I have Halloween makeup, that kind of, you know, lean toward Halloween um, and get more than four hours on the 31st out of it. And uh, the Day of the Dead as well, which is what, November 1st? I think it's November 1st. I'm not sure about that. Um, but anyway, so even though I will probably use all of these to do a Day of the Dead look on the actual Halloween itself. I'm kind of excited to get out some of my Halloween -y looking stuff and incorporate it into some of my looks during this month. And, you know, and depending on your preferences, some people might say that I do that all year long, but I don't think I do. So I was going to do it uh, for the month of Hall or for the month of October. So that's the black lipstick with all the glitter in it and then i did go ahead and use the jd glow uh, Marilyn as far as the highlighter today and i ended up put a whole bunch of things on but actually i think my best combo or what i ended up with was the relove revolution tint in fuchsia and this is a baby tint that you can put on your cheeks and on your lips. And so that's what um, ended up there. And then a little bit of this Revolution Balm in Peach. So, yeah, that's kind of... And the general glow is from that, and the color is from the baby tint. And then the glow is from JD Glow and this Marilyn. Uh, yeah. The Marilyn highlighter, which you can definitely use on. Um, it is one of those highlighters that will, you know, shine you to the next galaxy kind of things. But um, it's really pretty color as well. It doesn't go as gold. It it's gold, but it has a lot of champagne in it. So it's uh, yeah, more of a beige gold. It's really pretty. The packaging makes it look more gold gold. 
Um, but the other thing that I brought out was my coal eyeliners, and uh, these are from Koki. You can get them in the Kroger grocery store. Um, the coal is actually a pencil liner, and as far as smudging out and giving you that really black look, it works really well. And again, these are um, over at uh, the Kroger grocery stores, but um, Walmart has all sorts of this stuff as well. And um, let's see, what else did I go ahead and use today? Oh, I went ahead and used the She Glam Cosmic Come Up Alien Mood Planet, or Alien Mood Palette. Alien Mood Planet, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Um, but so anyway, <laughs> But um, some what? And, um, <laughs> so I did go ahead and pick this up, and I had done a video with the green look, but uh, that video had some problems. My audio didn't work out, so I did go back, and uh, that's what I have on my eyes right now. I use the start green in the crease. I use the mint, um, if you can see it there, uh, to go ahead and blend that out. And then I put this green glimmer right over the mint. And um, let's see, what else did I use? I don't think I used anything else out of this palette. So uh, this is very pigmented. It's very pretty. And I like um, the way that the shadows work in this one. And it's just plain funny. I mean, I think of G Juno Birch <laughs> going to the grocery shop. I mean, that YouTube video just cracks me up, and every time I see the um, shopping cart, it just makes me giggle. But anyway, <laughs> this is the way the eye look turned out. So I did go ahead and do a little bit of tight lining um, as far as this goes, and I put the Emride, um pencil as well. It didn't work that well. Um, I know the gel eyeliners are supposed to work really well in the uh, waterline, but um, a lot of times they don't for me. But then again, I have really watery eyes, so maybe that's why that isn't working. Um, if you do want to go ahead or you have a kid that wants to do a princess or just loves glitter, uh, these fantasy makers that they that Wet n Wild does, and they always bring them back for the holidays. Uh, that's what I have on as far as uh, setting powder today. And so this one is really it's really glittery, and um, they're just fun because they're just fun. Glitter is just fun. And so um, let's see. This one is Spark. And so, um, yeah, these are by Wet n Wild. And if you want to get something that isn't exactly the same as the little kid's makeup, um, find the Wet n Wild. They're um, represented really well in what I have on right now. This is my finishing powder. This is what I used on top of the black lipstick. So yeah, they have a lot of products and they do a whole line that they bring out every Halloween. So if you want something that probably isn't going to break you out all over everywhere, go for the Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild. Um, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, um, I went ahead and put the glitter on my cheeks as well as the highlighter. So I did go ahead and take this um, yellow color here, and I have that all over the cheeks, and it's just fun. And I do it again in a moment. And so let's see, I have these on. Um, hmm. And I do know what I do need to go in as far as uh, getting as far as makeup. Here's my inspiration for what I want to do for Halloween. And um, yeah, uh, uh, let's see. What is it? What is it, Skull? Um, over at Amazon, they do kits uh, for the Day of the Dead makeup. And so they'll have a whole bunch of the little tattoo stickers that you can put like around the eyes to go ahead and get this kind of effect. And they all have glitter because, you know, Day of the Dead, we're talking glitter. 
and um, so you can go ahead and put on the tattoo um, stickers and then I need to get a white that I can actually use um, and that will actually work that you can go ahead and use and fill in around the stickers and so that's what I thought I'd do for Halloween this year and um, yeah, I'm glad that I got these over at Dollar Store. They're just really fun. And they're something new and different for me. And not being a horror fan, I mean, I I would watch, you know, like the Disney version of the horror story. Um, so, yeah, this works good. And let's see, what else do I have that I got? Um... I don't know. Uh, Halloween makeup kit. Definitely a black lipstick. You definitely need glitter. This is my glitter from ColourPop. You need even more glitter with going ahead and getting a glittery powder to go ahead and set your whole face with. A black, a black eyeliner. A fun eyeshadow palette that has some really dark weird colors in it that you can also use you know after Halloween which is what I plan to do with this one because it has some really pretty shimmers in it and is really pigmented so you definitely need an eyeshadow palette that goes if you're planning to go dark I don't know I mean with this kind of a start I could go ahead and do a vampire but you know and um, let's see, definitely need some mascara for the Halloween makeup kit. And hmm, I don't know what else, but I think I'll go ahead and put parts and pieces of the Halloween uh, kit in my looks for the whole month. So that sounds like fun. And um, I, oh, a setting spray. Um, go ahead and grab a shiny setting spray and these are well again wet and wild does a whole bunch of these this one is actually from Trixie it's called ninth inning um, but if you have a kiddo that wants to do a you know a glowy Disney look set it with one of these that has the mica in it and it'll make it even more shimmery and um oh the other thing, see, I knew there was something else I went ahead and used. Um, I did get my brows to stand up as much as they will. And, uh, yeah, they don't like doing that at all. But the e.l.f. Brow Lift um, is a really good product for going ahead and doing that. And um, let's see. Other than that, I think that's all the stuff that I have. And like I said, I'm definitely going to go out and get a white that actually works. And um, I think that's about it. But, I mean, that's the fun glowy makeup um, that can definitely be both for Halloween itself and during the month to just add a little bit. Yeah. Do you think I could get away with the black lipstick? Maybe I could. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's a silly video. It's not meant to be anything other than silly. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.